just about to finish Sefer Shmot, which is the Sefer Geula. And I think anybody who's now uh, gone through the Sefer immediately has a question, how could you call it Sefer Geula? The first half is clearly about Geula, up to Kriyat Yamsuf. After that, <coughs> it moves on to the Mishkan, and probably more than half the Sefer is all about building the Mishkan, etc., etc. Um, why call it Sefer Geula if it's only half the Sefer Geula? The Ramban was sensitive to this issue, and this, in his Hakdama, <coughs> he wrote the following. Hagalut enu nishlam ad yom shuvam el mekomam ve'el ma'alat avotam yashuvu. Ve'cheshiyatsu mi Mitzrayim, afal pi sheyatsu mi Beit Avedim, adayin yeshvu golim. Ve'kesheboh el har Sinai, v'yasu ha'mishkan, v'shav ha'kadosh baruchu, v'hishra shkinato b'neihem, az shavu el ma'alat avotam. The Ramban is pointing out that there are two facets to the galut, to exile. There's the obvious one that everybody realizes, and that's the physical aspect. There are Mitzrayim, there are Avadim, um, but there's also the spiritual aspect. Ma'alat avutam, that's the ultimate goal, to be on the madrega of the avot, meaning the highest level that a human being could possibly reach. That's what we're trying to achieve. And the Hashrat Shechina that we find in this week's parsha, the culmination of the entire Sefer, that Moshe Rabbeinu couldn't immediately enter the Mishkan because the Kvod Hashem Milet HaMishkan, and that's repeated a second time at the end, shows the climax is actually the Hashrat Shechina, the completion of the Geula, of the redemption, physical as well as the spiritual. These two facets of Galut, um, I think, is something that comes up every year in the Pesach Haggadah. Uh, the Mishnah Psachim, Kuf Tet Zayin, says, Matchil begnut umesayim b'shvach. You start the Haggadah say, saying something derogatory about the level of Bnei Yisrael when they were in Mitzrayim. And in the Gemara, the Gemara asks, My gnut, what, what derogatory aspect? Rav Amar, Mitchil, Ovdei Avodazar, Ahiu Avoteinu b'Mitzrayim. You start by focusing the fact that our forefathers were originally over the Avadazara. Okay. The Shmulamar Avadim Hayinu. You start focusing on the fact that they were slaves. And I think this might also point out these facets of, of, of Galut, so to speak. Do you, do you focus on the spiritual or do you focus on the physical? I think we could ask. Or even a better question, why focus on Avadim Hayinu? That's not really Gnut. Is that derogatory? The fact that we were we, we were Avadim? And I saw an interesting insight by Rav Soloveitchik Zatzal that says that this machlokas, Rav and Shmuel, might be a machlokas Lishitatam. And he reaches another machloket that Rav and Shmuel have, and that's found in Gitin Lamitet. When a person is mafkir, his Eved. And Eved Kanani, had, there are two kinyonim that his Adon have, has on him. One is the obvious monetary kinyon, okay, where he owns the Eved. But there's another facet of that kinyon, and that is the kinyon Isurim. As an example, in Eved Kanani, although he's mitzuvah b'mitzvah ki'isha, he's kind of, in a way, you know, part of the way to be a Jew, he cannot marry a Jewish girl until he's freed with a get shichrur. So there are two facets. There's the physical facet, and there's the spiritual facet. And on the question is, if a Jew has such an event and decides that he wants to free him, the normal way of doing that is giving a get shichrur, a get, a, a document that's going to free him. But what if a person just says, I want to be mafkir, my physical ownership over this evid? Here there's a machlokas also between um, Rav and Shmuel. Rabbi Yochanan represents Rav's opinion that you have to give the get a, 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 a evid, even though you just gave up your ownership on a physical level, you have to give him a get shikrur. While Shmuel is of the opinion, no, he's yotze lecheirut immediately, <coughs> even without a get shikrur. So the Rav asks, Mamrechei HaMachloket. And he explains the position of 
of Rav, I think, is more obvious because there's the physical ownership that you have, and then there's the spiritual isurim, and the get shechur is needed to, to touch on that other, af, the other facet. The Rav explains, according to Shmuel, once you relate to the physical, once you're mafkir, your eved, the two facets are part and parcel together. They're one. So it immediately affects the spiritual Kenyan Isurim at the same time. And with that, the Rav, with an ingenious <laughs> insight, a very interesting uh, idea, wants to say, that's why Shmuel says, if I want to touch on Gnut, on the Leil Pe- uh, Pesach, I want to say something derogatory. If I say, Mitchil Avadim Yinu, I'm immediately touching on the Madrega on a physical level, or the Galut on a physical level, and the Galut also on a spiritual level, because one and the other are, are com- con- constantly connected. Um, interestingly enough, we're also coming very close to Purim. In less than two weeks, we have Purim. And a lot of you might have heard that on Purim, there's a mitzvah of Suda, there's a mitzvah of Mishloach Manot. But on Hanukkah, there's no such mitzvah. And Achronim explain there's a very big difference, because Purim, there was a sakana to the guf of Klai Yisrael, while Hanukkah, the sakana was to the spirit, to the nefesh of Am Yisrael. They weren't trying to wipe out the Jewish uh, people on a physical level. They were just trying to bring in Hellenism and push out Yiddishkeit from, 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 from our forefathers. And therefore, on Purim, we celebrate with the Su'uda, focusing on that facet, while on Hanukkah, we try to focus more on the facet, on the spiritual level. So once again, we see throughout Jewish history, there's this constant um, relation or ups and downs of a galut on a physical or, or a spiritual level, and a galut, um, again, or a geula from a physical or spiritual level as well. I think in human nature, day to day, we're much more aware of the physical aspect. You know, people make aliyah, they think, oh, you know, it's a redemption. You know, this is it, full cycle. I've, I've gotten to malat avutam, my, 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 my place of my forefathers. But in truth, malat avutam is talking about the madrega, the level, the spiritual level as well. And it's very, very important not to lay back and say, oh, this is the, you know, the, the geula, it's the hitchalta de geula. Because Am Yisrael as a whole has to complete that journey of being closer to, to a Kaddish Baruch Hu. And I think not only on the national level, I think it's something that we should be working on on a day-to-day, meaning not only to worry about our physical um, advancement when it comes to Judaism, uh, maybe including even the physical Maisa Mitzvah, but to also focus on where we are spiritually. We are on a level of Ruchani as, as individuals. He wrote Son that we all be Zohar to a work towards that spiritual geula, and we should be zochet to see a geula shleima in all facets. Shabbat shalom.